Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Valhalla. I am once again joined by my friend Sign. Say hello. Hi! And we're continuing on, um, uh, we're on day 10. Yep. <clears throat> God, my voice. Please hang in there. Yeah, same. <laughs> Delon say you make me a bit jealous. Aww. That's because they're so cute. Back. Looks like you've calmed down. I still... Ugh. Sorry. I still feel like kicking myself. Make me no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. They helped a lot with that one though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. The only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a 2 cm deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Ooh. Yeah. Welcome. Ah, uh, hello Jill. Hello baby. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. They're both so yeah. cute. Yeah. <laughs> Was this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard. But I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere without- with protection. <laughs> Almost said without protection. <laughs> so, <laughs> so most of the time, I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. Aw, her ears perking up. Yep, that's cute. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard. A literal gorilla. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't why put it you... past it. Why do you say... Uh, like gorilla, uh, like to bodyguards, why do you... Why do you guys name bodyguards gorillas? Because they are massive or something? Yeah, because... Uh... Normally, like in America at least, when we hire bodyguards, they're usually really big guys. <laughs> ah, I see. Thanks, Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. Oh. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service. But he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to a stump. Okay. And yet, he can still run faster than me with it. <laughs> True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A Brantini. A big one. I'm in a good mood. Of course you are, because she's there. <laughs> one big Brantini for Stella. Okay. So, double. Yep.
here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Because yeah. A bit, because uh, great things come in small packages or something like that. <laughs> like us. Yes, very true. And Ever dragon. And what? And dragon. Oh yes, yes. She is also small but fierce. <laughs> yes. Ever try to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Yes. Yes. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean when you say some, you know. You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you to something? Sure! I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She started showing up more and more and that was it. Ahem. My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? <laughs> <laughs> she learned her lesson and started showing off in more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, I love her. So you two have known each other for most of your lives? I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Wow. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could soon you are an item. Hmm. They should be. Uh, an item? What kind of item? <laughs> <laughs> A couple, say. Oh, item. Yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earn a mock prize for, for best couple at Stella's high school. <laughs> Three years in a row. <laughs> so you two didn't go to the same high school? No. Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends. Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't count like that, but okay. What kind of man was he? Rough. The kind to eat raw bronze on roots every morning. Ugh. But around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. Oh. <laughs> it's interesting though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. Huh. But yeah, he is the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Ooh. Hey Jill, what's this? Doom light. Hey, you that's the drink. 
Yeah, and you mentioned no one ordered this drink. There yeah. You know. <laughs> A spicy drink. This is nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one too. On it. Okay. Two bloom lights for the girls. And there's a few other drinks people haven't ordered yet, so it always excites me to make something new. Yeah. And it says it's so unnecessarily brown. <laughs> oh, aged and on the rocks. That's yeah. rare. It looks the same as the uh, the Brantini or whatever. Yeah. I almost forgot I'm going to say this part. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Uh, the light. Oh my god, did she just pass out? <laughs> <laughs> huh. I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that and that and that she must still be tired. From the whole bank thing? She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know? Among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma now that. She's earned the god's favor, I think. But you know, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. Oh. When I saw Say wounded, asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. <sighs> How sad is that? Aww. Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows? Maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. <laughs> Her ears perked up again. <laughs> Not that much though. Yeah. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come, say. Let's get hamburgers and go home. You gonna carry her out? <laughs> 
Maybe. Yeah. We'll be leaving now. Unless she's just dragging her out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Please come. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of crap. Little steps, I guess. Uh, who is this? Oh, it's... oh, the girl who I think almost committed suicide, right? Yeah, that one. Okay, gosh, I forgot what voice I gave her. Um, oh, did I, I give her an it... accent? I can't remember. I thought I gave her a British accent, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so, a British accent. And I can't do a British accent. Hello? Ah, him! Welcome! I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up at someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Let's give a sunshine cloud to Kim. I haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah, same. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to give her karma train. Yeah. This is like all caramel milk with its good smell impact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Here. Thanks. So, how is work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep. I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Yeah, he is kind of a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Why did you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it, only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts. Even if you do what you want, you'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel... free. Free. I mean, honestly, any job that pushes you to wanting to commit suicide is definitely not worth it. Yeah. It's a wonderful feeling, you know. I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I could still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in... well, never. Huh. What about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do, and all that? Uh, but I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know, bubbly or something. Something big and bubbly, huh? Okay, bubbly? Hmm. I mean, we never do frothy water. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's big and bubbly, it should be fine. So, why not? Yeah, but this one is um, big. Yeah. So, double. 
forward. Well, Amy should be next. Here. If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. <laughs> this must have been the right one since we got unique dialogue. Yeah. It, al it also kills things inside you. <laughs> I gotta ask though, how did you end up working there? Near deep reason, that's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went to the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. Ah, <sighs> too much pressure for my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like these? Same story as you. I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then, at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom. A little pause to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for uh, that effing breather. Uh, um, g give me a, a something. Something? S sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. She asked for uh, something. Literally. <laughs> Anything? No, I, don't know if, I don't know if uh, I can say this or it's considered a bit spoilery, but. What if you give her one of these? <laughs> no, actually, there is a secret drink. Yeah, one of the ones I never get to use. No, it's never listed. It's not listed? Yeah, that's what I mean by not by secret. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's well, I see. can give you the numbers and see what you want. You know this stuff by heart? Yep. Okay. So it's one. One of this? Yep. One. Two. Three. Five. Wow, that's strong. <laughs> I recognize this. One, one, two, three, five. One, one, two, three, five. No. It's Fibonacci number. Oh. Yep. Oh. Do we ice our age or anything? I, I think you need to mix it. Okay. Just mix it. Whoa. Yep. But flaming moai. Yep. Huh. I think that's the thing. Here. Thanks. That's pretty cool that there's a, a hidden drink. Yep. <laughs> I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. <laughs> Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like, work wherever I want. I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. 
I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. I agree. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks, I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. <sighs> you should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Oh no, Dorothy! Right when I'm about to end the day. <laughs> Honey! Oh, yeah. Ah, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know! I came for you! Hey! Dorothy, I love you, bear. I love you. <laughs> for me? Why are you hugging me? Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> yes. She needs Dorothy to cheer her up. Yes. I paid her to do that. Really? I don't think you needed to pay her. <laughs> I think she would have done it. <laughs> All night long. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Well, this is just what Jill needs, all right. <laughs> yep. What a great boss. She's like, I see how cute you are together, so let me help you along. <laughs> Come again? Ah, sorry. Hit my That's microphone. <laughs> to put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What do you hope? What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. <laughs> you calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reason you right there. <laughs> It's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human... Uh, humanoid contact right now. <laughs> you had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Yeah, you go, Dana. Please take care of me. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, we did good. Treat yourself. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy. Yay! Yay! Alright. Oh, we don't have oh, to buy yeah. anything. Oh yeah, don't forget to buy the uh, Christmas tree though. Didn't we already? Isn't that it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yep. Go ahead. Who was that, Lim? A very good friend. Oh, I wanted to see her here with us. Same. Oh, wow. Our, our place is getting so full. I see the beer and the tree and the fan. And you, it will get even fuller than that. And this is the poster. Oh, that's great. Um, But I think that that should be enough for today's episode. We'll read all of this in the next one. Yep. Uh, see. But we're doing good progress. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this and until next time, have a nice day.